Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. Silverstone has always had some of the most interesting cases on the market. So when Silverstone announced the LD01 and showed that it had an inverted motherboard tray, I knew I had to get my hands on it. It's been a very, very long time since I've built in a Silverstone case, so the LD01 seemed like the perfect Perfect reintroduction, let's call it that. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button right now and turn on that little bell to receive notifications. We upload basically every single day and that makes you feel really happy. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed. In this video, we're gonna build a mid-range gaming machine in the new Silverstone LD01. Before you leave a comment, please watch the entire video. We'll get to the important stuff at the end. This one's gonna be a doozy. Okay, let's kick this video off by talking about your favorite part, the parts. The motherboard we're using for this build is the Gigabyte B450 Aorus M Micro ATX. This board is, it's very, very good. I, I really like it. And if you wanna take a closer look at this board, you can check out a video we did, I think in yesterday's video, in the top right hand corner, right now. The GPU we're using is the Gigabyte G1 Gaming GTX 1060 6 gig. We've featured this card in quite a few of our builds, and I think it's one of the most impressive 10 series cards that they released for that whole GPU generation. The CPU we're using, however, for this build, yeah, that made sense. No, but yeah, the CPU we're using is the AMD Ryzen 5 2600. The reason why we're using a 2600 again is because AMD sent us a stack of them and they're really, really good. And yeah, they do a little bit of everything. And I think they're one of the best priced performance CPUs this year or like, if not ever, they're actually very impressive. For cooling, we're using the Corsair H100i Pro. It's perfectly matched for this CPU and it looks awesome. We did an AM4 installation guide if you wanna check that out in the top right hand corner right now. Yeah, that's for the H100i Pro. Didn't think I mentioned that. Anyway, the RAM we're using is 16 gigs of Team Group T Force Nighthawk RGB clocked in at 3000 megahertz. I really like this RAM and I've been testing it and using it in quite a few machines over the last few weeks and it's really, really good. Okay, speaking of team group, for storage, we're gonna be using a team group 256 gig NVMe M.2. <laughs> it's fast and has enough space for a few games and that's kind of the point of the system. Last but not least is the case. It's the brand new Silverstone LD01. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, the most interesting part of this case for me is the inverted layout. And as the comments section so often say, less talky, more buildy. So yeah, let's, let's listen to the comment section for once. <laughs>
I'm guessing you guys want to know what I think about this case. Overall, it looks really nice, but it's a bit of a... What's the word? It's a bit of a kerfuffle to build in. The cable management is on the higher end of the frustrating scale. I basically created a rat's nest on the opposite side and I didn't film that because I didn't want you guys to see that because I'm embarrassed of how bad my cable management was on this build. Now, the reason for this is the hard drive cage. The hard drive cage is not removable. It's movable, but you can't take it out. And for, for me to actually take it out, I'd have to take a pair of tin snips to it and cut it out. <laughs> the inverted layout is also a little bit challenging at times because of the lack of extra rounding holes on the PSU shroud, but yeah, it is how it is. If you don't like it, drill some holes. <laughs> don't get me wrong though, it's an awesome case. I really like it. It looks stunning and it's very functional. It may look like a literal box of tempered glass, but it's actually so much more than that. It has wide vents along the top and the bottom of the front panel, and it's actually pretty efficient at pulling in air, and then, yeah, it's got plenty of exhaust. So before you think about writing in the comment section, the airflow is good. There's your answer. Finish and clear as you would say in Afrikaans. <laughs> if you're interested in any of the parts in this build, you can find links down below in the description. Special thanks to Silverstone and AMD for supplying the most important parts of the build and for always supporting our dream of building beautiful computers for you guys to enjoy. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you hated it, tell us what you hate about it or hit the dislike button. Once again, thanks so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek, and something, 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 we out. I think I just made the teleprompter dirty. Nick. Nick.